Hi boys and girls, today is December 4th, day 4 of our Christmas Advent Countdown. Let's begin with finding out what's in this present box today. And today we have this mini skateboard ramp. And especially for today's story, I want you to notice these stairs right here. And you go up these stairs and you come down here like this. Okay, so this is our gift for today. And I want you guys to think about how this relates to our passage today. So let's open our Bibles to Genesis 28, 10 through 17. Please take time to read on your own or follow along in your own Bible as I read out loud. Jacob left Beersheba and set out for Haran. When he reached a certain place, he stopped for the night because the sun had set. Taking one of the stones there, he put it under his head and lay down to sleep. He had a dream in which he saw a stairway resting on the earth with its top reaching to heaven and the angels of God were ascending and descending on it. There above it stood the Lord and he said, I am the Lord, the God of your father Abraham and the God of Isaac. I will give you and your descendants the land on which you are lying. Your descendants will be like the dust of the earth and you will spread out to the west and to the east, to the north and to the south. All peoples on the earth will be blessed through you and your offspring. I am with you and will watch over you wherever you go, and I will bring you back to this land. I will not leave you until I have done what I have promised you. When Jacob awoke from his sleep, he thought, Surely the Lord is in this place, and I was not aware of it. He was afraid and said, How awesome is this place! This is none other than the house of God. This is the gate of heaven. All right, so just based on our reading, I want you guys to answer a couple of questions based on what you observed from the reading today. Based on verse 12, what did Jacob see in his dream? Number two. Based on verses 13 to 15, what did God promise Jacob? God's plan for the first Christmas included this man named Jacob. Yesterday, we talked about how Abraham gave birth to a, a boy named Isaac. And when Isaac grew up, he had twins named Jacob and Esau. Esau happened to be born a little bit before Jacob, so he was the older one, and Jacob was the younger one. But the younger son, Jacob, tricked his brother and lied to his father. Jacob messed up pretty bad, but God still chose Jacob and God would send Jesus to bless the world through Jacob's family line. The terrible lie of the serpent, Satan, tells you, you messed up and you haven't kept your promise to God, so God is not going to keep your promise to you. But the truth is, Jesus came to rescue promise breakers like Jacob, who messed up. In a dream, God showed Jacob a stairway with angels going up and down from heaven to earth. And this shows how God is the one who comes to Jacob. It is not Jacob who has to climb the stairway to reach God. In the same way, it is God who initiates and comes down to us first. Christmas tells us that Jesus is that stairway. God loves us so much that Jesus came down to get us and to rescue us from sin and to be able to reach God. We will never be able to reach God on our own. Jesus is the one that takes us to God. And as we think about that, let's go over a couple of questions to help you reflect and think about what this all means. So I want you guys to think deeply. I want you to spend time thinking and answering these questions on your own. Question number one, how is Jesus the stairway to God? P 
people in this world celebrate Christmas by talking about how Santa will give gifts to those who have been good this year. But the Bible asks a very different question. The question is, have you trusted in Jesus? Have you allowed Jesus to be the one to take you to heaven? Have you received God's gift of Jesus and given him your love and your life? As you reflect on the answers to these questions, I want you guys to write it down in a journal or a notebook so that you can really um, keep a record of your thoughts. Let's come to the Lord in prayer. Dear God, we thank you so much that you are such a loving and unconditional God who calls us even when we don't deserve it, even when we mess up for God. And that is the reason why you sent Jesus to rescue us and to bring us to you, Lord Father. We thank you for sending your son Jesus as a stairway to be able to come into your presence, Lord God. We thank you in Jesus' name we pray, amen. All right, it's time for our Acts of Kindness calendar challenge. I want you guys to take out your calendar. And for today, I want you to try your best to bake a treat. Or if you can't bake, you could also try to buy or get some treats. But just the idea is to share something with your neighbor. So I want you guys to do your best to do what you can. Of course, you can vary it a little bit. You don't have to do it exactly the way that it, this says. Um, it really depends on your situation, but, I, but definitely it's a way to challenge you. So even if it's uncomfortable, just try your best and see what God can do through your kindness. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.